I'm Peter Marathis. I'm BAN's Compliance Director. I'm also a partner at Proskauer Rose. So the uh, Cadillac tax uh, becomes effective in 2018. Briefly, what it will be is an excise tax, a non-deductible excise tax that will be paid by employers of 40% for costs over a certain level, a very modest level, of premium in 2018. Now, 2018 seems like a very long way off. But employers uh, and other plan sponsors need to start working with their smart partners today to implement programs to reduce costs so that they can keep their premium spend down and hopefully avoid some part of the excise tax. From a, a best practices perspective, uh, there are a number of things going on with, with uh, dealing with the Affordable Care Act. Um, the first and foremost, the client should think of this as a three-legged stool. If somebody internally at the company who's very strong on the act understands what it is, what it requires, what they need to do, then the other leg of the stool is a smart partner who is going to help them with their insurance needs, but also beyond that on a, con a consulting basis, help them with communication strategies, help them to implement programs designed to reduce costs, to show alternatives to employees, and then the third uh, leg of the stool, self-serving, but uh, also a lawyer who understands the law and can help them. So th that's the human capital aspect of it, and that's very important. Uh, infrastructure best practices uh, is going to be critical. Uh, people, employers need to develop, uh, implement programs to track hours, to track who's employed by them. What's going to happen later on when the government starts to uh, audit employers for compliance with the law is they're going to be looking at the systems as a basis for assessing penalties. So it's garbage in, garbage out. If employers don't have robust HRIS and other systems to track what's going on internally, the government is going to whack them because they're going to assume that the person who doesn't work there anymore actually did, and they're going to assess a penalty. So it's uh, human capital uh, as well as infrastructure that uh, employers are going to have to really look to, to step up their game.